Welcome back. We will get you back out to some of our live shots in the aftermath of this weather, but we do have some guests today. And this first one, you can be a bounty hunter in your backyard. Yeah, if you have Bradford pear trees, you can do this. There is some money in it for you to get rid of the trees. So to help us understand exactly what's going on here and how you can uh, get some opportunity to plant something else in the place of those Bradford pear trees, we have our special guest from Clemson. Hi, thanks for Dr. having me on. Dr. David Coyle is here. I, I bet you wish some of these, these storms took out some Bradford pears. I would guarantee some of these are Bradford pears that are snapping all over the place in this weather. Uh, Bradford pears, you know, are super common, super popular in this part of the world. They're all over the southeast, the upstate. A couple of weeks, they're going to be very pretty. There's going to be white blossoms everywhere oh, and yeah. flowery trees. but. They are one of these trees that in, the, in your yard, they're fine, but they tend to get outside of your yard. So they can make these fruits that are, that are viable. They turn into another tree. Birds eat them. Birds do what birds are going to do. They fly away and spread those seeds out. And then you get these calorie pears, which is what we see all over the roadsides, the white trees all over the roadsides every spring. And mm -hmm. so this is a problem. This is a big problem for a, lot of, for a lot of landowners. When a calorie pear gets into some acreage, it grows these great big huge thorns. Okay, now these are not present. Oh, wow. on, I never that. Yeah, these are not present on, on the Bradford pears. Because right. the Bradford was selected to be thornless because it's a yard tree. Mm -hmm. But once those things go wild and get out into the landscape, they have these huge thorns. So once they get one or two years old, there's not much a landowner can do about this other than get big equipment in there to grind them down and get rid of them because these are sharp enough to pop wow, tires. Wow, they're, yeah, they're big time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they can pop a tire. That's they no sure good. Can. All right, so oh, how does this program work? How do people get involved? Yes, yeah, so this program, the Bradford Pear Bounty Program, we are asking people first to register so we know how many are coming, but we are just asking that you cut down your Bradford Pear Tree and take a picture with it. And then you take a selfie with your down tree. Like a selfie? Yes, take a selfie with your tree or a deer or whatever. <laughs> right, yes, the belly program. Yes. That's right. Bring that to our event uh, in Nettles Park in Clemson on the 29th of February, and we will give you one of 10 different kinds of uh, native replacement trees. So we have a whole bunch of different things you can choose from. So we will trade you one tree for one picture. Who is eligible to do this? Everybody in the upstate or just certain areas? Yeah, so it's focused on the city of Clemson, but if it's, it's for the Clemson and the surrounding area. So if you're willing to come to that event with your picture and you register, we will let you have a free tree. That's great. Mm -hmm. What if you cut down like several trees? There's a limit of five. And okay. it's got, you oh, have okay. to be the landowner. So if you are a renter, you can't just go whack down stuff in oh, the, oh, in the careful, renter's yard. Yeah. So you've got to own the property. But up to five, if there's a, a business that maybe has a whole bunch of them that line a driveway, give us a call, we'll talk to you about it. Okay. We might be yeah. able to do something there. That would not be very neighborly if you went and chopped down your, <laughs> your neighbor's tree. We are not tree advocating your, for any of that. Or your no. landlord's no, tree. No, yes, no. Yeah. So, so in terms of this program expanding, it sounds like it's been a big success, more than you expected? Uh, well, I mean, I'm an optimist, so I was hoping <laughs> it would go this well, Great. but it seems to be going pretty well. We've had a lot of comments uh, on social media, people asking us to bring it to other parts of the state, Columbia, okay. Florence, Ake, and all these places. So we are hopeful that we can do that in the, in the coming years. We can spread this thing around. Okay. That's exciting. Well, it's one of many things that the Clemson Co uh, Cooperative Extension does. We use <laughs> you for a, a lot of our stories. You do good things for us. We appreciate it. Thanks. We're happy to help. Yeah, yeah thanks for being here. Thank you. You're watching Carolina's Family at Four. Stay with us. We're coming right back with more storm coverage.